Okay, I'm going to play some Caves of Cud by Freehold Games. This is the Palladium update. Adds lots of new interesting things. Make sure I'm going here. It's always worth the double check. Cool. Uh, let's do a new game. I saves. I don't have any currently. So this is a new thing that was added. There's a roleplay mode, if you like. This is this kind of takes a roguelike, a traditional roguelike, with an, a non-traditional setting, post-apocalyptic, but not nuclear, just well, as far as I can tell anyway, and makes it almost a CRPG in it. Every time you go in a settlement and you start in a settlement, it gives you a save. And if you die, you go back to that that point, if you like. You can play it that way. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. There's also the classic mode, which I'll be playing. There's also the wander mode, which was added. So, no... It doesn't like when I press that button. <laughs> no XP for killing. Ugh. I don't think I'd be able to play that. I mean, nah. It's, you know, it's too contrary for me. Most creatures begin neutral. Most creatures don't. More XP for discovering. Perform the water ritual. Okay, that, that's a thing you can do in this game. Make friends. And checkpoints of settlements like this. And then this is the daily mode, which I might play with it. Maybe. That would be cool, I think. Anyway, let's do classic. Ah. Uh, so, hmm, presets. Uh, we're not going to play presets. If you're new to the game, you play play presets. You can do a little random. If you like very Adam Ancient of a Mystery, you can just set up a, a random run, just go if you want. Library, a build library. The last character. And we're just gonna do a new character. And then here's the major first decision you make. This is this is extremely huge here. See, true can are kind of sort of regular humans. They're the ones who were able to lock themselves away in vaults or enclaves, whatever you want to call them. The postal lock look was saying they're mostly human. You can kinda of tell the side profile there. They get cybernetics. And robots recognize them. Mutants, that's where I'm gonna be. You know, they're, they're the proletariat, the ones who did not, who weren't considered worthy to be sealed away. And then they just kind of endured. And the, the Putus Templar guys, these are like, uh, yeah, they're, they're xenophobic, uh, genocidal bigots, pretty much. We'll kill them for, for their loot. You see, this guy's kind of, or person's kind of bird person. He's heavily mutated, but most of the mutations are, <laughs> are beneficial. So, this is this is very new in terms of it like it's a very visual way they're doing it now, which I like. It's more people people visual, so it gives you just normally it's just like a readout, like a list. Now it gives you a visual representation. This is, it will change how your character is going to look, right, on the on the world map. It can mean apostate, and this gives you this isn't this isn't your class per se, because this is a classless system. It it helps set up your your background, what you did before you were playing, right? So egos. He goes mainly for selling and and psionics, which I'm gonna actually do psionics this time. I haven't really done much of that. I've done the Arconaut. Short blades, tinkering is actually really strong in this. You're spry, athletics. Greybeard, you're older, you got cudgel. <laughs> and you're calloused. And your reputation with bears. You're an old bear, okay. Gunslinger, you're starting with a Kembo, which is actually that's a real change there. I'm not feeling guns this time, maybe later. Marauder. I've done Marauder before. Axes are really strong in this because they dismember. Yeah, you can dismember in this game. It's pretty brutal. It's it's crazy brutal, in fact. I'm not going to play that. The Pilgrim. He starts a fasting way, and that's really good. Uh, you do have to eat... In, it, well, you can eat in this. You have to drink in this. So, fasting way will mean you have to drink less water. The Nomad. Did you like Dune? Here's who you should be. <laughs> if you liked Dune, you get a, you get a salt suit. Yeah, yeah, uh, I believe, yeah, stilt suit, sorry. So they call it a recycling suit in this, but yeah, you, you get a suit which massively reduces your weather, your water consumption. Which is actually the currency in this game as well. A scholar. He's smart, good at tinkering, he has heal. And the tinkerer, who's even better at tinkering, he starts, he starts having to dissemble and knows how to make bombs, I guess. The Warden, I've done that before too. Pistol, long blades, strength. The Water Merchant, yeah, that's a strong start. Because, yeah, one more trade goods. Trade goods are really cool, because that's the currency pretty much beyond water, obviously. Because you can trade. And water has weight, you may be aware of that. Are there any more? End is next. Can move the arrow key. So, what do I want as the base? What do I want this character to be? I always take me. Uh, like, I'll end up making a, a melee regenerating character. I always tend to do that. Maybe I should do something different this time? Agility? No. 
short blades, the nomad. I, I want my I want my Ishikari banner and my stilt suit. I want it. Okay, so now the next major choice you make. <laughs> I'd say I'd also probably want this as like a um, a visual thing as well. We're going to be a chimera, which is you only manifest physical mutations, right? You are I think Wolverine, right? He regenerates really fast, lives for a long time. Or think like um, Professor X, if you're an Esper, right? He's like, uh, he's psionic, right? He can mind read and do things like that. Or Jean Grey, who just had telepathy, things like that. So you only get the mental, or you only get the, the physical, or you get in stable genome. So that, that's like banking on the future. I, I always tend to, I haven't done that a few times, yeah. When you gain a level of 33% chance your genome destabilizes, then you choose. Yeah. Hmm. We want to do that. I don't, do I want to lock myself in? I want to, I want to dangle in Sion. <laughs> I want to meddle or dabble in Sion just a little bit. So I don't want to lock myself either one. I have 12 points. I'd like to see 12 right up top here, just to make it a bit clearer. But, mm. Character creation, 12 points. Choose mutations. Beak. <laughs> yeah, your face beer is a sightly beak. It used to be unsightly. Now it's, now it's pretty beak. Hmm. I really like... Well, regeneration is incredible. Multi-arms is incredibly strong, too. <laughs> See, the, oh, that, I like that picture they literally grafted him on. It's really good. 10% chance for each extra arm you have. Remember, you have two now. So it's 10, two 10 10% chances to deliver an additional melee attack with whatever you hold in that hand. It could be a punch. Multiple arms is massively powerful. Multi-limbs, let's carry more. <laughs> they, they just attack. They have to go from the back, right? Because they attach in the spinal column. They'd need to. Phasing. You may phase to solid objects for brief periods of time. I haven't played with that. Photosynthetic skin. So pretty much you can eat sunlight. <laughs> That's the thing. And you, I have taken this before. It's pretty good. Because you get the quickness. And quickness is huge in this. Regeneration is <laughs> is extremely good. Pretty much you naturally heal in combat. You heal faster. And you go missing limbs. You don't have to worry about as much about axes. It's really good. I always take regeneration. I just I find it terrifying to go melee and not take it.
Was I muted the whole time? Oh my god. I pushed the button, it's just I did not like that. Alright. Apple Farmer. This brawny mustache man wears a white apron stained with the juice of star apples. His stable hair mats against his brown skin on his forehands. From his left forearm hangs a white rag, which he scrubs the dirt from his hands in a few moments. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Any work? Find the dude. Okay, okay. That's so annoying. I know I pushed the button multiple times. All right now. What is that? Jam of honey. That does not belong to me, I don't think. That's the senator. <laughs> He's a pig farmer. Oh, guy. Alright, so. Traveler, welcome to the village of Igwar. We are a tribe who honors democracy and appears those who profane the Senate. Okay. For our custom, we drink our fresh waters and quench, and quench your thirst. I right, do the water ritual. The reputation increased. Because it is uh, in the village of Qua, I don't like me as much now. Uh, sure, why not? Tell me about that. I use some reputation to learn how to make something. Live and drink. Service is available. I find, okay, find that other person. Thank you. Yeah, I've tracked all this water into her house. That's cool. Dram. Yeah, Atari water. That's, that's super. It's, okay. It's, uh, uh, get, uh, uh. <laughs> so kind of an odd... And you can also click and mouse move if you want. Well, you used to be able to. I can also transition the screen if I go to the left. And we'll build it. And that's the outside of the village. Oh no, this is the, the outskirts of the village. What's your deal? Look. Snapjaw shotgunner. Oh my. He is docile. Okay, I guess he's friendly with his shotgun. Moon and sun. Wisdom and will. Plant seeds in the bounty of the earth and reap democracy. Yeah, yeah, because that's our whole thing. He has some shotgun shells. Four of them. I'm not going guns this time, really. Someone's room here. I'm still dripping, of course. Ugh, come on. What is that? A four-posted bed. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Seems to be going okay. Oh well. Alright, so what I wanted to see is... You pass by the chest. Who is? Who owns this? I don't want to steal from I won't. I'll be nice, guy. I'll be nice, mutant. And the door... You can also auto-explore if you like. I thought it was... I think it was auto-explore. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I used to know. The old buttons might have... Might have just clicked that. That works too. So he'll gradually walk around and slowly securing every little title. I find it tedious. All right, and the message log swapped. See how the I can just right, to end it. You just move a little bit. I just prefer doing it myself. Let's see what's up south. Who owns this? Not owned by you. Sure, want to take it? Nah. If they see you. Might get mad. Ooh, Star Apples. So that's like the thing here, I guess. You know, piggy. Uh, yes, Star Apples, I know that. It's a pig. Go <laughs> back and talk to the pig. Let's trade. Pig has nothing to trade. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, we got hot. That might, could have been some enemies there. <laughs> Ooh. Which would bark? Did I get any? Maybe. I want to get all these star apples. It's quite good, actually. Are you hostile, Mr. Tortoise? No, he's docile. They're not a good idea to fight. Or, well, no, honestly, I could probably handle a turtle. There's a fire there. Now, if I... I can whip up a meal. Gather some fixings. A pinch of adopted dog hair and embrace... Glow claw feather a dream of rust and some liberated saffron. You ate the meal. Okay. This saffron goes wild here. So you got the star apples. Um, 
No active effects. A delicious star apple covered in countless crystalline spines. Once the spines are chipped away, the inner flesh is moist and delicious. That sounds horrifying to eat, though. Like, not a good idea. Not numbs at all, yeah? Not at all. Hmm. Now, what was the equipment? Uh, let me find this here. Key mappings, da 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 da. F for fire, O for open, yeah. G for gat, I've been using that. Talk for C, I should use space. Interacting by, control space, wait. <coughs> T for throw, because you can throw grenades and stuff. In fact, you should, if you need to. K for powers, is that right? No, X, X is the character sheet, okay. Equipment E, quest, okay, E. All right, so here's what I have. I have a recycling suit that's hold uh, that is recycling three gems of fresh water. I have goggles. Desert Chris in my upper right hand and right forearms. A torch. I need more weapons. A flaming fist. Ghostly flames. Hmm. Talking about those? I'm surprised it's not giving all my hands hands. So oh, that's what you did with it. That's stupid. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. So, actually, we're going to extinguish that torch and remove it. Because this, I have, I have a flaming fist, right? So, six penetration is what this means. Uh, look at it. And 1d3 damage. Strength bonus cap of two, I have that. I have short blades, it goes bleed a critical hit. And then this flaming fist deal 1d2 minus one, and they increase the temperature. Well, let's see how those work. Uh, message log, can I... Can I move you? I just find it a bit obtuse. I can move you. Where am I? Where? I, I can't even see me. <laughs> what does this do? Yeah, it's transparencies. What about this? What does this do? I, I want this... Shrunk down. I mean, I normally like shrink message logs down massively. Where are the... Where... What the hell? Oh, I mean the... It's dark. Okay, I answered the question I have. This is what happens when you can't see in the dark. <laughs> I, I thought my flaming hands would give me light. No, they won't. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we're going to take this torch and... Equipped it. And... See, now I can see again. That's what it was. Okay. What I want to do, I want to shrink down this message log. It's way too much. It's, it's annoyingly so, in fact. Um... So you have, uh, there are a lot of options, oh my god. Modern, that's the modern overlay, which is fine, whatever. Oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Uh, come on. I have already lost interest. Uh, I, what I like is the ability to just resize this manually. Just just look at it and resize the, the window. It's way too much, it's way too big. I mean, yeah, it's kind of off to the side. Oh, are you hostile? Yeah, so snap jaws early on can be a threat. I see, I saw more than one of them. All right. I pop out. Hmm. I don't want two of them on me. There we go. You hit three times for nine damage if you do it, Chris. Chop, chop, chop. Ow. He bit me. Okay. If I drop below half, it's not they're dead. Now, they're dead. Oh, he had a woven tunic, and a woven tunic. Ah, and a club. You know, this isn't ancient of mystery. I don't have to consume that corpse. Now, if I want to take it. You may have to remember, I've died by trying to take everything. Like, I, I killed, like, one of those big temp Templars, and tried to take his plate mail and his, his fancy swords and everything, and everyone else was around me. I think it would take one turn now, and I just, I, they, they got, like, tens of, dozens of attacks on me. I was trying to loot the body. So don't try to loot in combat unless it's like a quick grenade or something you gotta snatch. Yeah, just get that. The club? Five? Don't even want it. I don't think I need the club. I'll take the hand axe, though. And there are merchants. I, I need to... Alright, see I'm in green? I'm not quite healed yet. Woven tunic. Tell me about it. Alright, it's... Surprisingly comfortable. Okay. One and two, so I believe that's dodge and protection value. Protection value and dodge, I think. Recycling suit, what are you gonna tell them about it? It is made of extremely durable, rubbery, dark material. It just, yeah, see, so like Dune. 
visualize it like that. It is lined with small pouches of slowly filtered water that the suit collects from your overworked body. Yeah, so it's good for limiting your use of water. The goggles, I'm sure they help you use gas. The desert Chris. Flaming fists. I should try to use my ability, actually. I can't just see how quickly I heal. It's a generation. But I can also do a shift A. Uh, sorry. A. Now it's A. And I can map these to abilities I used to be able to anyway. So if I... Key combination 1. Thank you. Fleming Ray D1. Why are you... you I, you're a salamander. <laughs> hmm. You're emitting Flaming Ray from your upper right hand. Okay. Okay. Did that... Um... What's the range on that ability? Ten turn cooldown. No, I just whatever. Okay. Build still. Oh, hello, Miss Tortoise. Bye bye. I need my flaming fists back. You emitting flaming ray for four damage. Toros, the Toros is slow. There we go. Four. Take one damage from the fire. I started a fire. <laughs> See the smoke? Yeah, that's a concern. How damaged is he? He is irritable. Injured. Okay, I see that the smoke. He's burning now. He's probably going to ignite and die. He's already ignited. So. He's, he's okay. Can we? There we go. Do it again. So you can see how he did. So how these abilities are very useful. Passed by some ashes. Oh, that's nice. Gives you an idea of the intensity of the heat. You take the ashes. That's pretty cool. Let's look at them. Matter was crushed, burned, and granulated into a soft powder. Is perfect. <laughs> yeah. That flame right back up. Now, a salamander, are you. I like how if I click one, it'll auto snap to the closest target. That's such a good feature. A flaming salamander takes one damage. He's flaming salamander because I lit him on fire. Let's use it again. Are you dead? Nothing but ash. It'd be so cool if it actually burns away his clothing. Like, it's a salamander and having clothing, but if he, he did. Right? Let's see. Can I? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I know. <laughs> I lit up the asphalt. Tari. At least seems I did. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so asphalt burns. Very nice. So the combat's fun. What if I fire past him? It still hits him. It's like a flaming bolt. Or oh, ray, sorry, yeah. Very nice. This is a very powerful ability. So it's just one ability, but it can be quite defining. What is open? Open on my... Ooh, copper nuggets. Those are trade goods. They weigh like next to nothing. Give me both those. I could even take that chest. Nah, I won't take the chest. Are you... Oh, the whole time they were even hostile to me. Oh, that's vicious. If I... I can hold control and just auto-attack him. I don't see how much my fists do. Doesn't paint trade my armor with her bite. He did. So I'm no slouch in melee either, so I'm quite powerful. That's blood. Enemies will fight. That was what did you do, Salamander? Oh, bronze longsword. Thank you, Mr. Salamander. I'll take that. Snapjaw had a longsword. Bronze, but I'll take it. Tortoise. Now, Tortoise is angry at me as a snapjaw. That's fine. We'll burn them. Uh oh, boars. Bye back. Bye back, boars. Okay, now we don't want to get stuck in that goop. In fact, actually, I'll do it. 
go. See, he's kind of running me down a little bit. Maybe... Am I tripping? What am I tripping? Uh-oh. Time to go. So I took a big hit. Time to jump in blood. That regenerate. It's fine. I wonder if... Oh, he's, he's in water. I don't want to do that. I do that. Ah! I love that. So, one mutation point. Good. So I get more hit points. Was there anything? Dilute salts. So let's level up. Let's do that. Ooh. Desert... What, what abilities do I even have? I don't even know. Oh, that's not good. What is... Was it... Abilities A. No, I know my abilities. What skills do I have? I thought skills was K. No, it's tinkering. I'm used to seven space. Oh, plus and minus are used in this. No, they used. I thought they were. The controls are very different from what I'm used to. They used to be different. I'll get used to them. It's just. It'll take a little bit. Skills is P. P, P for powers. Okay. These are the skills. So I started with. Mm, and I'll make a camp. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, do I want do I want to use long blades or heavy blades? Because I got this strength bonus cap of one. Only one. How about the hand axe? I expect more on that. Bonus cap of one. <sighs> so I'm stronger than the benefit. Desert Chris. Strength bonus cap of two, really? Really? Okay. Hmm. Make sure it's actually recording. Cool. So it's messing me up earlier. Alright. I mean, the fist doesn't seem to be doing much, honestly. I mean, it has the same penetration, just 1d2 minus 1's 1 damage. Flaming fist it doesn't seem to be doing much, yeah? It's annoying. 1D. So if I. Desert Chris is a. It's a, it's a knife, right? Chris is a knife. It's a short blade, yeah. Causes bleeding on crits. Alright. What does the sword do? Increase penetration on crits. I think I'd rather bleed him. Cleaves armor on crits. I like this, the axe even better. 5 and then 1D2. Or 5 and 1D3. Alright. Say. What do I want? Endurance. Shake it off. Oh, I like that. I can't afford it though, so we're gonna save my points. Alright. Now what is my <laughs> gives me the temperature, that's interesting. I'm sated and quenched. Oh yeah, I guess you do have to eat now. That's that's new. Quickness hundred. It's very important. Mental state, I guess. Armor value three. Dodge value six. Mat mental armor four. Chance to be hit. No, sorry. That's chance to be hit is this dodge value, chance to be on mental abilities, chance to soak damage. That's minus three off whatever I'm hit for, right? Whatever happens to be. Uh, so, what is my armor? Where's the three coming from? Is it the recycling suit? Is armor? Might be. It's quite cool. If I remove it, do I lose the? No, I don't. Yeah, that's quite a good suit. We're gonna stick to that. The woman took trash compared to it. See, now I have no armor. That's quite good. My dodge value is now six. Equip the still suit. Okay, so that's, that's really nice. Head, do I have anything? Uh, one of my back. I don't have the banner. I thought, I thought I had an Ishikari banner. I didn't start with one. Six, 1d2 minus one. We don't want that. 1d3. I don't want the minus. Hand axe. This is better. And those are better items. Feet. I don't need boots. Walk around barefoot. Why not? Throwing weapons. I don't have anything. I believe I've already been going a half hour. We'll all bit over it. Well, this is Caves of Cud, the Palladium update. I am like I'm seeing a lot of the UI stuff, so we'll play some more of it. I'm just gonna put a little cut in here for the video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.